This is a quick demonstration of the newly released uh, message analytics components part of our Spring Cloud uh, Dataflow Upstarter suite. There are two new Upstarters, uh, counter sync and counter processor, that allows you to compute uh, insights and analytics from your message payloads and send those uh, insights as uh, metrics labels along the uh, counters metrics sent to some pre-configured time series database such as FluxDB or Prometheus. We're going to create a simple application which can consume and analyze uh, JSON tweet messages from a real tweet account. I'm going to consume JSON messages, uh, log them into log using the sync uh, application and then in parallel we're going to tap uh, this uh, JSON stream uh, input and extract the uh, various languages from the JSON messages as well as count the number of hashtags and the difference using the counter sync component. I'm going to create a data flow server with Skipper, Grafana and InfluxDB using the out-of-the-box getting started script. Uh, let's download it. We have to set the data flow version and skipper version we want uh, this script to use. I've set the snapshot version. Having this in place, we can set up our environment. This would create the data flow server. Um, Skipper underneath using Kafka and Zookeeper for message binding as well as setting up Grafana and InfluxDB for metric collection. Let's create the required streams. We would have one stream that consumes the Twitter uh, input and sends it to the log. In parallel, we are going to add uh, two counters, one that actually counts the number of language, different languages in the incoming uh, tweet messages, and the other one actually counts the different uh, tags found in those messages. We would call this counter language, and we would use the counter tag expression to define dynamically computed uh, tags that are injected with each matrix that this counter produces. We're going to call this uh, tag lang. This is the name of the label with the tag that is going to be associated with the ongoing matrix. And uh, we're going to use uh, Spring expression language, in particular the JSON path, to compute the occurrence of the Lang language uh, element in the incoming message. Just for reference, uh, this is how a typical JSON um, tweet looks like. You have the text, some information about the user that sent this text, and one of the field in this uh, description is the length. That, that's what we are extracting with the JSON path and counting every time it's, it occurs. That's what this uh, stream would do. Uh, we can uh, do something similar, but to extract uh, the hashtags in this case, which are actually the entities hashtags part uh, uh, text within the incoming JSON message. Let's do this. The metrics that this counter would produce are going to be called uh, named hashtag. And we're going to uh, add dynamically computed a label to each of those metrics using the same counter tag expression. And uh, in this case, we're going to label this uh, this tag as H tag. That's what it's going to appear within the metrics messages sent to the InfluxDB database. Again, we're going to use JSON from the payload. We are going to uh, look inside the entities. And hashtag any text inside and we have the three streams um, I'm going to add the my credentials for account you would have to use yours in this case
Speaker Family has brought you this admin and password credential to connect. We're going to create a custom passport using the refluxdb data source. And first, let's explore the language counters input. We would like to group by the different la the language that we have computed dynamically. And here we are. For the hashtag, we can use the pager chart diagram. InfluxDB appears to be more limited compared to the Prometheus when it comes to sorting and arranging those uh, time series based on the labels that we have produced. To the hashtag. We want to have the sum of all. Again, we're going to group by the H tag tag that we have computed. Okay, this uh, was uh, has now have a dashboard that shows us the hashtag in real time and the language in, in real time for the incoming JSON messages. One last thing I want to point out is that it is um, not uh, necessary to have a three separate uh, uh, streams. You can actually merge all this functionality into a single stream, leveraging a single counter, either single processor. It later allows you to uh, have multiple uh, definition of tags and inject multiple tags within the same metrics. To illustrate this, I'm going to pause. Practically, this is a, a, a single stream, again, consumes the Twitter streams, uses a single counter processor in this case, which practically computes uh, some metrics using this uh, counter tag expressions. And those are the, the two metrics you're familiar with, the extracting the language and the hashtags from the JSON inputs, JSON messages. While the payload, JSON payload uh, um, is left um, on change and send to the log message. So practically this uh, stream replaced the previous three streams as well, providing the same functionality. Uh, the metrics that would come from this, uh, this uh, stream and generated to this counter, in this case, I'm going to go to it. You can go ahead uh, and experiment with this. This concludes my demonstration.